Why do you actually hate the Sonic community? I hate the Sonic community because I find a lot of them to be... <laughs> this is going to sound weird to sound, but they're just a bunch of liberals. <laughs> video that's the most unfucking hint all right you know what fuck it we're watching that instead that's what you need to see uh, i'm gonna give you a little taste of this this is my favorite thing ever this is my favorite fucking thing in the whole world okay dude people vehemently defend this guy when i beat left in a genesis 7 i was wearing a red pair of adidas pants with are you following i'm sorry i'm already like what okay why are we when he beat this? somebody okay. at genesis 7 he was wearing those okay. red polo pants okay white stripes on them. Okay. They had white stripes, okay? Follow. When I beat left in a Genesis 7, I was wearing a red pair of Adidas pants with white stripes on them. These pants would become synonymous with my run at that tournament. A few months after Genesis 7, someone sent me a picture they took of Leffen streaming. Leffen was wearing a red Adidas shirt with white- Okay. Are you understanding what's happening right now? Um, I guess? Alright. He was wearing red striped pants, okay? Red striped pants. Look at that shirt. Holy shit, dude. It's a red striped shirt. Okay, what does that mean? On that. These pants would become synonymous with my run at that know. tournament. <laughs> a few months after Genesis 7, someone sent me a picture they took of Leffen streaming. Leffen was wearing a red Adidas shirt with white stripes on its sleeves while editing a digital controller's button layout. Again, this wasn't a coincidence. It was a psychopath's way of showing that he wants revenge. Uh, Needless um, to say, the behaviors you're going to find in this video are completely bizarre, but you might be wondering why I'm making this video now. Fuck, dude. I what? All right, this is an the, exposed video on a content creator known as Leffen. Doesn't really matter. The, um, the the reason why I found the Anna Frills drama on Twitch so funny is because of, all I could think of was this. Growing, it seems that instead of opposing the dark triad, we've actually embraced it as part of our culture. When Leffen randomly attacks people from other gaming communities, for example, we watch and laugh. Then our content creators turn it into the latest news. This leads to other communities telling us to take Leffen back to the shithole he came from. Even worse is the fact that we. So is he? Is this video like a segmented section explaining why Leffen has the dark triad? So he is the dark triad. One is the dark. Triad. His very first Smash Boards avatar. He has presented himself this way. You might be wondering why all of these troubling signs seem to be coming from the same person. So I'll give you the clinical explanation. In psychology. Thank God, dude! I needed the clinical explanation. See, <laughs> there is a concept called the dark triad that consists of three antisocial personality traits. Narcissism, psychopathy, and Machiavellianism. These traits are strictly malevolent and can be thought of as the very definition of evil itself. They are what compel people to commit crimes, and they are bound to result in social distress and severe problems for an organization, especially if the Dark Triad is given a leadership position. This is because Dark Triad- This is an exposed video on a Smash player. It's our ruthless manipulators who will claw their way to the I top am... at anyone's expense. I'm just silent. I don't know what else to say. I'm making the same face you are, I think. <laughs> Dude, you would think this is a politics video. Wait, where is the, uh... Why does Hitler come up seven times in this video? Okay, no, it's, it's less. Alright. Watch this. This is the beginning of the video, okay? This is the beginning. It was being perpetrated by a community leader. There's a quote that goes, the greater the crime perpetrated by the leadership, the less likely the people will ever believe their leaders capable of perpetrating such an event. That is, unfortunately, a Hitler quote, but it's one that's very applicable to the current situation. <laughs> In December 2017, Leffen posted a video of himself stabbing a pancake that had a green Jigglypuff drawn on it. This video tells you that Leffen desperately wanted to get rid of HBox. It's identical to when he bought a red Adidas shirt <laughs> shortly after losing to me at Genesis. Stalking oh and smear campaigning God. represents the highest God. level of desperation on the psychopath's end. <laughs> this guy's fucking crazy. He's so fucking crazy, dude! Wait, 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 wait. There's another one. Alright. Naturally, naturally, by the way. He is addicted to anime, I guess, because all of these kinds of people are, right? No offense to any anime watchers, but offense intended, okay? Why did Leffen used to use an avatar of Light Yagami from Death Note back in- Okay. Fuck, dude. Okay. You know it's gonna be good. I'm, you know it's gonna I'm be good, already... bro. Avatars of anime characters oh God, that already... represent their inner beliefs, which is why I need I... to raise an issue with something. Why did Leffen used to use an avatar of Light Yagami from Death Note back in 2016? If you understand who Light Yagami is, then it makes all too much sense when you consider everything else that I've told you. Light is a brilliant high school student on the outside, but an infamous political criminal on the inside whose goal is to become the god of the new world. 
He's able to remain undetected for many years by outwitting everyone in his way. Essentially, Death Note is the story of a totalitarian regime that ends up casting darkness over the entire planet. The story that's unraveling right before our very eyes is strikingly similar to Death Note. The Death Note is a book that can be used to issue death sentences simply by writing someone else's name down. Should this tool fall into the wrong hands, it would terrorize an entire society. The funny thing is, Leffen is basically trying to turn his phone into the Death Note. Through the use of modern technology and a good understanding what? of crowd psychology, it's actually possible to create a Death Note nowadays, and people need to be wary of that. I'm... What are your thoughts? So... I, that's that's difficult. That's, there's so much to unpack. This is like... It's a thing that I see a lot where people talk about like lefty videos that are responding to people are always like five times the length of the original video. And it's because you, you can pack a remarkable amount of nonsense into a shockingly short amount of time and just unraveling it takes so much longer and by the time you're done everyone forgot why you're even bothering explaining it in the first place and that gave me that vibe do you know what all right so this whole video i feel like to appropriately unpack that i would need entirely too much time so this whole fucking video right is to say why leffen should be banned from all these super smash brothers events right the guy who made yeah. this video got banned from all Super Smash Brothers events after he uploaded it because he was a deemed a danger to society. And then he made another Should video saying, that's hypocritical. They shouldn't ban for that. Motherfucker, you were trying to get people banned. What are you talking about? Like, it's so... Oh, God. Wait. Oh, okay. This is... Total. Oh, boy. Totalitarian regime. It comes is up thirty-four times. Video. Okay. Oh fuck, dude. Oh fuck, dude. All right, chapter one. And so it makes sense for people to be on their toes. Your chat's guiding Vosh through drama. What happened? Your chat's guiding Vosh through getting into YouTube drama. <laughs> dude, Vosh is gonna pull a Xander Hall and like infiltrate the drama community. Everyone just keeps switching back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. Um, I want to cover more drama content. Primordial what stuff. did the guy do? The guy he doesn't like. They have a personal beef. That's literally it. He had he issued an apology recently and said like um, he shouldn't have like pushed this out into the public square like this. But uh, like actually, I'll show you an example because it, it'll come up right next. He thinks that uh, so this guy, what's his name? Hacks created like a mm -hmm. a special controller because when you play Smash Brothers on those GameCube controllers, it, like fucks your hands, right? So. Leffen made a video reviewing his controller and said that he would pick a different button layout if he could. And Hack said that was trying to destroy his income. There's only one type of society in which these disconnects exist, and that is a totalitarian society. Under totalitarianism, it may not be entirely clear whether those in charge are truthful and heroic or not. This is because while they give their citizens a place to live, totalitarians deprive their citizens of basic rights by controlling the press, performing mass surveillance, and resorting to state terrorism, which is when the state attacks its own citizens Keep in mind, order this is about Super Smash Brothers. to instill Super fear. Smash Brothers. The reality is that totalitarians <laughs> are neither truthful nor heroic, but they make their citizens think they are in order to mobilize them. This is done through either manipulation or force. What totalitarians <laughs> will commonly do is craft <laughs> false hero narratives through the vilification of others. They'll create a problem and then they'll solve it for you in order to create the illusion that they're heroic. This is why it's important to take a look at where someone's hero status came from, as it could very well be a facade. In Leffen's case, what you'll eventually find is that his hero status was entirely self-engineered. Everything Leffen is remembered as a hero for, for was a political that. heist in ways that people didn't consider, and his motivations are much darker than people realize. In general, <laughs> Fasha said, quoting Mein Kampf to explain <laughs> to my sister why I was wrong to finish the Thanksgiving leftover. <laughs> I'm gonna do that in one video. So like one video at some point in my career, I'm gonna read a quote, deadpan, oh. look into the camera and go, unfortunately, that is a Hitler quote. And like five people are gonna get the <laughs> meme, but it's fine. Real world. And if you ever see a disconnect like this one, then it probably means that you've been duped. What happened here is a villain realized that hero status would be beneficial, and so he made it his goal to obtain it. If you look at the current state of the Smash oh community, God. it is in line with the totalitarian regime, and that is entirely because of Levin. It's obvious that Leffen wants full control over the community based on wait, several of his tendencies. Wait, a dead giveaway wait, of Leffen's intentions this, is the so fact. So the evidence 
that the community is totalitarian and it's Leffen's fault is that Leffen blocked him on Twitter. <laughs> that's all that's on screen. Wait, wait, wait. That he blocks so, anyone who disobeys him on Twitter to the point that he probably has thousands of people blocked. The strategy yeah, isn't being the used by some random person either. For. It's being used by the person with the highest follower count in the community. When you think about how dangerous this strategy can become over time, it should actually be illegal, and I'll explain why. <laughs> I'm sorry. The I'm sorry. Is- it should be illegal to block. <laughs> wait, people. wait, wait! Look at the example. Look at the fucking example. Actually, be illegal, and I'll explain why. Because he's being. The beauty blocking. of Twitter is that no matter how few followers you have, you can always make an impact. This is because when someone makes a bad tweet, you can always make a very visible uh, reply to it. <laughs> so if you look to your right, <laughs> the Raiders made a George Floyd tweet. <laughs> Which is why you see low follower accounts ratioing high follower accounts all the time. When enough people reply oh, negatively to a tweet, even a the ratio. tweet can end up looking terrible. <laughs> he didn't even ratio the tweet. That's the best part. His, his, his example is not ratioing the fucking there's raiders. There's so many of them. To the person with the there's high so follower. There's so many that exist. Uh, or account, oh people God. replying are like pests in this case. They're practically latching onto the tweet with a hook shot, and when enough of them do this, it can have a huge impact. However, what the person with the high follower account can do in response is block That just every took me back to person. Earth and reminded me this is a Smash video. <laughs> wait, I was wait. like, this is a really random B-roll to include in this. Why would you have... Wait, you gotta watch. The link? B-roll is amazing, watch. He's the blocking him on Twitter in real time. He's latching onto the tweet. With Dude, wait, he's latching onto the tweet. Like, account. Like, People replying are like pests in this case. They're practically latching onto the tweet with a hook shot, and when enough of them do this, it can have a huge impact. However, what the person with the high follower account can do in response is block every single person who sends <laughs> from their tweets. I call the taunt. The taunt. All right, let's get to the controller. This is one of those things where I I do want to watch this in its entirety. Oh god, there isn't a part one, by the way. I do not want to watch this in its entirety. To show you what I mean, is... here's a diagram of the boxes. But the box is his custom controller. So Leffen wants the Z button and the R button to be switched. Right? I just want to hear what he has I, to say about it. I was like, this is finally starting to feel like it's about Super Smash Bros. Don't worry, we have to leave that part. Window. Compare the list of pros and cons each of these layouts provide. It becomes obvious that Leffen's layout should never be used. Telling people to use this layout is like telling them to uninstall System 32 from their PC. It's something they should never do, unless they willingly want to use a defective product. The problem is that Leffen's narcissism compelled him to find something wrong with the box at all costs. He couldn't just conform to using the box. He needed to coin his own layout, even if it meant misleading people about Melee. Leffen would end up doing this by insisting that digital L cancels are better than analog L cancels, as this would give him the angle that his layout has the better L canceling method on its home row. Over the course of the next few weeks, Leffen would display the willful and malicious intent to lie about this game mechanic. Leffen and Slamist ended up getting into an argument over the subject. Leffen then began roasting Slamist in front of over a thousand people as to make an example out of anyone who questioned his word. Meanwhile, Leffen's chat laughed and continued to adopt false information. I'm not saying to- I can't believe this is such a big point in this video. Is he's, he's saying that Leffen's trying to, like, target the Smash community and provide misinformation to damage the credibility of the community. Because he said that the button on the controller is wrong. Because he, he thought he was right about something. It's like this is unhinged. That was, I guess, maybe wrong about. I'm not tracking it well enough to understand if he was even wrong or not. <laughs> this looks like. Tell. All right, this fucking thing looks like something that Anna would have sent to Destiny. Twenty diversion tactics, highly manipulative narcissists and sociopaths, and uh, and psychopaths used to silence you. Basis. The article this excerpt is from is titled "20 Diversion Tactics Highly Manipulative Narcissists, Sociopaths, and Psychopaths Used to Silence You." The article lists plenty of strategies Leffen uses on a regular basis if you scroll through his Twitter feed. These include gaslighting, nonsensical conversations, generalizations, misrepresentations, aggressive jabs described as jokes, a condescending and patronizing tone, and shaming. I'm not going to provide examples of these because you can easily find them by scrolling through Leffen's Twitter feed for even a few seconds. However, there's something called projection that I want to take a moment to go over. Dude, this motherfucker defines projection. That's why this video is two and a half hours. I'm short circuiting. You know, he was talking about making another one of these. I think evidence.zip4 is the one they were on. There's a, there's an evidence.zip3 where it's the same video, but all the Hitler stuff was removed. <laughs> <laughs> He's just posting drafts at this uh, point. Oh, fuck. Every part of it. Like, you can go anywhere in here, and it's uh. just unhinged. 
I don't get it, bro. All technicals had to do was help this guy out and just tell him never post these things ever. Like, there's just walls of text that he doesn't read in this thing, too. Wait, does technicals know this person? Yeah, he was trying to defend him, and it just didn't work. Like, I, he should have just wrote it. The ledge grab <laughs> debate. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Holy that, shit! Uh, Holy shit! I didn't know this was in there. Was Holy amazing. shit! Wait. Oh. Break smoothly. Wait, was that a Castro quote? For now, I'll be listening to totalitarianism as the first- This guy threw a fucking Castro quote up to talk about, like, fucking taking over the media. I don't- I don't know I, what the fuck is happening. I- Every time I watch this video, because I haven't seen it all the way through, I've seen the evidence.zip3, which is all the- like, the good one, but I always come to this one to find, like, a funny clip here and there. Even his main arguments aren't really very good, that's why I had to apologize for them. Is any of these still up on his channel? That's not. Oh, it is. He actually pops up. Oh, wait. Did he delete his apology? No, it's here. No, there it is. Yeah, my apology to the melee community. How's it going, melee community? I'd like to sincerely apologize for the way in which I recently took a personal feud, overblew it, and basically turned it into the entire community's problem. I'd like to think? especially apologize. What? You made a. T <laughs> oh no, he made two two and a half hour videos. You made two. You made. You made. I five hours of content and his apologies a minute forty seven. I mean, I kind of respect the balls, I guess, to make five hours of like conspiracy theory. I have a speculation hat. that Tech wrote this, and I asked him to his face, and he told me no. So I'm gonna be hundred percent open. I think Tech wrote it because it's just, this is a good apology. I'm not gonna be like too fucking critical of it. I know, I know. I'm just think it's hilarious that it's so short. Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just funny to like yeah. the the ratio of like what he did wrong to how long he apologizes is just incredible. I think he defines projection longer than he apologizes for. <laughs> As to the fans and spectators who were surely caught off guard and stressed out by the way that I basically forced people to choose between one side or the other. This was inconsiderate of me in retrospect, and I've taken the time to reflect on the fact that The problem I... is this guy's just fucking crazy. I think that's it. I just think he's crazy. Yeah. All these YouTubers yeah. try to assign, like, guilt. Like, this was a manipulation. This guy was trying to build a narrative. This guy's been pulling all the strings. Sometimes you gotta just look at somebody and go, this guy's fucking dumb. This guy's an idiot. He literally could never fucking do anything about it. I don't know. Basically took this whole thing way too far. Not to defend my actions, but I do want people to know that I did act out of character here, as many people have suspected. What basically happened here is Leffen and I have had beef ever since we were teenagers, and what recently brought this beef back to the forefront was actually the metagame documentary. The night that document Oh, dude, you know what made him go unhinged? So they made a whole documentary about Leffen, and apparently they put in some of the stuff from this guy's, like, the critiques from the past and why he was, like, previously banned for a little while. And then, um... He, like, asked for it to be removed, so Hacks had, like, a mental breakdown. I think that's what happened. Uh, obviously, like, not a real mental breakdown. I'm not, like, fucking, like, diagnosing him or some shit with, like, fucking anything, but, yeah. This is this just... Is. This is a thing. He's, he's a pretty devout melee player, and he's been... The thing is, this guy's, like, a legendary Smash Bros. player, apparently. Like, he's been, like, around the scene for over a decade, and, um... Dude, people literally were trying to help him so badly. Like, somebody uploaded a condensed version that removed all the crazy shit, and it was only 41 minutes long. Still 41 like, minutes. Like, someone re-edited it for him, dude. <sighs> dude. I literally think Leffen came out and said, I fear for my life. I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> like, there's an evidence.zip3, and it's basically just him re-recording it. The last hope for Smash, an hour and 45 minutes. Mm. Okay. Hi, this is Hacks. I've been one of the hardest working members of competitive uh, Super Smash Bros. since 2005. Since then, I've made numerous contributions, including contributing to in-game software mo uh, mods, the development and legality of er ergonomic controllers, and pioneering of the LCD monitor tournaments. Okay? That's his backstory. Two months ago, I tried to help the community with a video titled Evidence.Zip2. Unfortunately, this video missed the mark due to its poor structuring and presentation, which caused my intentions to be misinterpreted by many people. I was even globally banned <laughs> for the creation of the video. 
I am deeply sorry for the structural mistakes that I described. I regret them a lot. Despite the insurmountable odds I'm up against, I've decided that I'm far too convicted about this case to not present it properly. Circumstances have a line such that I know uh, things nobody else in this community does, and I need this video to exist. If you want a summary of the video, it's... Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, yeah, whatever. That's not really important. Um, I should mention that the... Uh, what is it? It's, let me press my... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a big video, big exposed or whatever. Making is a. It's but dude, he comes in and it's just like so fucking That's weird. That's it. At every single juncture, by just one of the biggest myths within the Smash community is that Leffen has. It's just I don't know how he did this, and he puts all this shit on the screen and doesn't read it. This video is an hour and forty-five minutes long, and it contains paragraphs he's not reading. That doesn't deserve to attend any. That's a fucking Stefan Molyneux move. The problem is enacted. Just play a slideshow for a billion hours, copy paste from shit, don't credit it. And then explain none of it. Just have a bunch of fucking text on the screen. Makes you look smarter, I guess. Oh, God. I cannot believe my brain legitimately, and I think that's a fair comparison, drew a parallel between Stefan Molyneux and a Smash Bros video. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. There was evidence.zip 2.5, wasn't there? Is that the one we're looking... Is there a 2.5? Did anyone save that? I could have sworn there was an evidence.zip 2.5 where he comes in talking about how great the first video did. Um, I see. I found evidence.zip 2 revised, and it's gone. Big B's break was good. New analogies for gamers. Oh, no. I don't want to introduce anyone to Stefan Molyneux. I'm afraid that'll backfire on me. So when's your episode on Gamergate? <laughs> no. People have asked. Some people saw the, the little half-second bit that I did about Gamergate and were like, oh, I really thought you were going to go into it and how it, like, was actually legit. I got one reply about that, and I'm like, oh, man, you're going to hate the rest of this video. There's, a there's, no, so there's no way you're coming away from the rest of this video thinking that is I this it? was super cool with Wait, it. Wait, is this it? Who testified it oh, my God. Oh, the sequence oh, of yeah, events you totally that led me here. It. In 2013, oh I was one of God. nine people who testified for evidence.zip in order to ban Leffen from Smash tournaments. Evidence.zip can be considered an inner monologue of malicious tendencies that Leffen regularly used to exhibit. As time went on, I noticed that Leffen never actually changed since those days, but that he specifically began to conceal his true nature so that he wouldn't get banned again. After years of witnessing several acts of malicious intent toward the community that were in line with what got Leffen banned in 2013, I created evidence.zip 2 in June of this year. However, Evidence.Zip2 was notorious for being so poorly presented that I essentially crashed my good standing within the community. This caused me to rapidly get banned from many tournaments. In August, I returned with Evidence.Zip3 to properly convey the message I was originally trying to send. Evidence.Zip3 was met with very favorable reception. It is widely regarded as a well-made documentary which properly lists Leffen's It was not. ...motivations and wrongdoings in a more reasonable manner. It did not do that. I'll always regret the fact that Evidence.Zip3 wasn't the original video I put out, as I believe I could have won the court of public opinion if it was. He did not win the court of public opinion. However, I can't fix the past, and so the only thing I can do is proceed from here. He apologized for this video. Which will start this by addressing the band hmm? Just incredible. Oh, no, God. I don't have anything of value to say, don't worry. Oh god. No, you can ignore pretty much any time I start talking, because I'm just going to be saying the same thing of... Wow. ...statement that is currently being used to bar me entry from Smash tournaments. Oh my god. The ban statement that is currently being used against me is nothing short of preposterous. Between the double standards, mental gymnastics, and lines of logic that are used to make it seem as though Leffen is innocent and that I'm the guilty party, this is a massively corrupt ban statement. Leffen is constantly portrayed in the most charitable manner possible throughout this ban statement, and nearly every allegation I made against him has been dismissed and reframed as defamatory on my end. The belief that my ban statement is corrupt is the consensus on social media as well. It's the consensus on social media. What are these? These tweets have a combined like, uh, like if you add them all up, under a hundred. Yeah, and I'm sure there's like a single tweet talking about hacks that. It's, this is just. This is unreal. Oh, it's unreal. This is. Well. On Twitter, nearly every quote retweet on my ban statement points out these obvious hypocrisies, which reveal that the Smash community isn't acting in line with a court of law. If you've been following Smash politics lately, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that one got me, dude. That would, that would fucking got me, dude. Oh, wait, this is the best part. This is the best part of the whole series. I I'm sorry, wait, we have to go to the big screen for this. Wait a minute, this is my favorite moment of the whole fucking thing. I'm gonna make myself, like, fucking smaller. Alright, here. Smash politics. Alright, 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 time, 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 time. If Vosh is still in the chat, this is the politics he should be covering. These two from Sylvanas. 
If you've been following Smash politics lately, then you'd know that there are currently three people in contention, me, Jisoo, and Leffen. According to the Smash community's current verdicts, I'm banned while Jisoo and Leffen are unbanned. However, under verdicts that are in line with that of a court of law, I maintain that I would be unbanned, Jisoo would be banned, and Leffen would be banned. There are many people who share this exact opinion, and while I firmly believe that Jisoo and Leffen should be banned, this video will mostly focus on getting myself unbanned. Your Honor, you gotta unban me from Smash. The law says so. The... I... You know what? You know what? Well said, Bosh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, agree. Agree. I don't know what to do here, bro. I don't. I don't know what to do with this. I'm... Oh Jesus! I believe that me being banned is the most egregious. Wait, of I just got sent a fucking video. Hold the fuck on. Wait, I have to pull this up. It's not gonna pop up here. Shit. That's not how that works. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Right. I don't know what that. What was, was that result? What was that, that was not. Uh, <laughs> first ever gun game, believe in the fuck. <laughs> okay, well, this is what I was actually trying to find. Alright, so today. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, time to. Guys, you're not supporting any- you gotta get hacksinated, dude. <laughs> you gotta get hacksinated. The anti-haxers are trying to keep our boy out of Smash. <laughs> Holy <God. laughs> The anti-haxers are controlling the nair- the anti-haxers. <laughs> what the fuck? Hashtag get hacksinated. How Twitter pre polluted Smash discourse. <laughs> Why are there so many of these? Why are there so many of these? <laughs> the last dose! The last dose! What the fuck are you- Are these supposed to be like- So these are your first two shots, right? And then you get four boosters. <laughs> and then Smash is fucking saved. <laughs> I don't. I just. I don't fucking. I don't know what's happening, dude. I don't know what's happening. My. I've just been slack jawed. I <laughs> got nothing. Dude, the Smash community is the cringiest fucking nothing. community on YouTube without a shadow of a doubt, dude. Holy shit. It's unbearable. Current verdicts, as it is largely the result of misunderstandings. Not to. Never to. <laughs> Begin with the opening statement, which mostly serves to list the charges against me. The charges against me? Why does he do this? In episode this two, it was like a totalitarian terrible. regime. Today, it's a court case? This is... This Did he hire a lawyer to write this for him? I, in large part. Maybe. Oh my god. These are directed and malicious intimidation, harassment, or bullying of any participant, whether by language or conduct and malicious gossip with the intent of manipulating the victim's social circle. Defamation of character. For starters, the idea that Leffen is the victim in this situation is preposterous. In Evidence.zip3, I provided proof that Leffen has been stalking and harassing me for the past 10 years. This is why I originally testified for Evidence.zip in 2013, and it would persist afterward as well. Leffen's main goal in recent years has been to interfere with my attempts to provide the community with products and services. Most notably, Leffen went out of his way to ban the box and end my career in 2017. What the fuck was that? Is that really oh, Leffen's thumbnail? Services. Box what controller exposed gone sexual. Most notably, Leffen went out of his way to ban the box and end my career What the f- In 2017. Leffen would also interfere with the work I did that led to UCF, overrun my free online tournament series, interfere with the box's politics in other ways, and so on. Po Why does he keep saying politics? Please stop saying what politics. What box's politics? How does a controller have politics? There should be no mistaking the fact that Leffen isn't the victim in this situation, even though he publicly claimed that he is. This claim is easily debunked by several excerpts from Evidence.zip such as this one, which describes Leffen's tendency to play the victim card in order to evade accountability and flip the situation Wait, on the is people. This evidence from did he write this? <laughs> is he citing himself as evidence? That's kind of baller. 
if he's just like he's just like yeah no if you look at reference four in my statement <laughs> and it's literally just linking to like a tweet that he made that's that's pretty sick like it's a good way to, do, to i don't know it's kind of it's kind of dope it's terrible practice but it's pretty dope who he abuses I love it. Going back to the charges being pressed against me, the defamation Fuck claim is ass. just as preposterous. He's got to stop saying that. <laughs> stop. This reminds me of when I was debating Onision, and he goes, um, "Well, if my like husband sent a picture to Sarah, uh, well, I you can't say that it was just sexual. Maybe it was just like a naked picture that wasn't sexual." So I asked him, "Like, what kind of naked picture isn't sexual?" And he goes, well, "Have you been to a nude beach?" What does that mean? I don't know, but it's in my intro now. Is that, is that implying that if you take a photo of a person at a nude beach, it's not a sexual okay, photo? So, oh, let me see if I can find this. Um, what the fuck? I didn't mean to debate him either. He just came on my stream. I didn't know. Yelling. I also didn't know this happened. Holy oh, shit. Oh, here, actually. Uh, from what I saw, there was nothing. And when I say there's nothing, I mean there's nothing... Uh, disturbing or anything about it a nipple slip and the, the what was down there was not sexual it was not well, how is a naked like picture not sexual have you ever been to a nude beach all right that was a self-report and a half right wait, was that not a self-report he's talking about how what kai sent nudes to sarah when she was 17 yeah so yeah what the what the fuck I, nobody that? reported on it because everybody in the fucking onision stuff hates me but i'm pretty sure he just self-reported right I certainly felt like it yeah i don't know dude well now it's my intro <laughs> song when i start a stream uh, on my main channel so what the that exists fuck? um yeah i don't know dude listen if you accidentally quote unquote send a picture of your vagina and boobs to a kid just say it's like a nude beach or something i don't fucking know dude whatever yeah i took and the by, photo on a nude beach by the way, don't do you know anything me. about sarah so sarah was living with them because she left her parents and then onision was like her pseudo guardian i don't think it was ever legal I, I vaguely know of that yeah. whole situation. I have remained willfully ignorant of Onision, I'm not gonna lie. I've loved knowing as little about him as possible. Yeah. He he denies... I don't know, he like... I think he covered himself, but like, this is really fucking bad. Watch this. Leffen trapdoored his way out of the chaos he created in order to boost his reputation. Hardly anyone called fraud on Leffen's tweet either, but Hbox's mother sure did. What? He's calling out Hbox. Wait. In the movement against Hbox, Leffen trapdoored his way out of the chaos he created in order to boost his reputation. Hardly anyone called fraud on Leffen's tweet either, but Hbox's mother sure did. And the fact that she of all people called fraud tells you everything you need to know. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, bro? Of course Hbox's mother supported Hbox. That's Hbox's mother. Oh, God. I just, mm. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? What is it? Okay, I'm sorry. That was just one more that came to mind. Which Leffen baselessly encouraged the community to isolate Hbox. At one point, Leffen's smear campaign caused Hbox to condemn the community and contemplate leaving it. Leffen would respond to Hbox being at rock bottom by encouraging the community to exile him, as can be seen in this tweet. The situation Hbox was in back then is eerily similar to the one that I'm in right now, and it should be understood that Leffen is the common denominator. Moving on to paragraph one. Paragraph 1 has several issues that I want to highlight. The first issue is the claim that I frame Leffen in the least charitable light possible, which I'll contend by claiming that this ban statement frames him in the most charitable light possible. No you. That was literally a no you. I'm... You're not charitable. You're too charitable. Hex. You compared him to dictators. That's as uncharitable as it gets. What are you talking about? I, uh, you, compa you compared him to Mao! <laughs> and that seems to provide no real reason for doing so. Dude, most of the time you'd be like, alright, I wasn't really that uncharitable. Right? Like, my comment about, uh, my, my more kind of passing... Oh, fuck, dude, Prime K's just raided me? Hey, thank you, Prime, I appreciate that. Prime Kai's, I believe it is, but, uh, yeah. Dude, Prime's chill as fuck, dude. I that's fucking awesome. I always raid Prime. 
After after the stuff with, that I was telling you before, uh, after we ended the other stream about uh, mm -hmm. fucking Dylan, I've raided Prime every time I fucking stream and I see he's on. Super cool, dude. The next issue is the claim that I don't Ooh. provide evidence for framing Leffen as a pathological liar, a psychopath, a manipulator, etc. This is false because I provided basis for these claims in the form of evidence.zip testimonies. I should mention that Leffen has thoroughly lied about evidence.zip throughout his career by suggesting that it was nothing more than hearsay. He has also gone as far as to influence media outlets such as TSM and Red Bull to produce propaganda which portrayed <laughs> evidence.zip as though it was some type of hero story. Listen, this goes deeper. You know how we, we said that uh, Mao Zedong, no, who was it? Not Mao Zedong. I'm sorry, Fidel Castro has, had taken over the media. Leffen used his fucking influence to make Red Bull put out a smear campaign, okay? Are you following this? I'm having trouble. Dude, you don't understand, dude. Red Bull's making Leffen propaganda. <laughs> .zip testimonies. I should mention that Leffen has thoroughly lied about evidence.zip throughout his career by suggesting that it was nothing more than hearsay. He has also gone as far as to influence media outlets such as TSM and Red Bull to produce propaganda which portrayed evidence.zip as though it was some type of hero story. However, evidence.zip was actually much darker than that, and I happen to know this because I testified for it. Evidence.zip contained plenty of quotes which labeled left in a minute. Oh, Prime's in chat. What did he say? Hey, I just wanted to repay your kindness. Hope you have a wonderful night. Yo, thank you so much, Prime. I appreciate that. You're a fucking good dude. Manipulator and a psychopath. And considering the fact that he's continued to lie about evidence.zip for all these years, it's perfectly reasonable to assume that those things are still true. I'd also like to highlight the quote that reads, In conclusion, Leffen is in his own tier of maliciousness and potential damage to the community, as it gives basis for claiming that Leffen tends to act with malicious intent. Moving on to paragraph 2. This paragraph mostly criticizes me for framing Leffen in a negative light and alleging that he has a tendency to claim victim status. I've already shown justification for both of these things, so I'll be skipping this paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> this video is fucking oh my god dude we're in we're entering um all right so the first video is two what was it two hours and 45 minutes the second video oh is an hour god. and 45 minutes the first one is just a compilation of like screenshots that was posted on a web forum and now this one's 24 minutes and then at some point he realized i'm gonna skip this paragraph and yeah. He, this is longer than the sequel trilogy. If you add all three films together, I'm pretty sure. That's... Okay, buddy. That's... Oh my god. Oh, here, watch that. Oh no. Oh, fuck no. This is great. Wait. Moving on to paragraph three. The main aspect of this paragraph that warrants explanation is my claim that Leffen is performing a totalitarian regime on the Smash community. I use this metaphor because I do believe Leffen engages in several strategies you'd expect from a corrupt leader who's looking to gain a stronghold over their community. These this is supposed to be the good video. Include the corruption of the media, the tactical elimination of threats to influence, and various social engineering methods. What does that even mean? The tactical elimination of threats to influence? Is he calling fucking hits on people? What the fuck is he talking about? Corruption of the media, the tactical elimination of threats to influence, <laughs> and various social engineering methods. As I said earlier, Leffen has been corrupting the media throughout his career in order to conceal the truth about evidence.zip. The most egregious example of this happened recently when Leffen pressured Samox into revising the metagame documentary to erase footage of evidence.zip victims. Leffen outright lied by claiming that evidence.zip was nothing more than a bunch of forum posts, which led to him being rewarded with propaganda which heroized him. This was not only a slap in the face to evidence.zip victims, but also a brainwashing attempt on the current generation. A brainwashing attempt! Next, there is reason to believe that Leffen has an interest in cancelling or stifling threats oh. to his influence. Wait, where's the one... There's one more quote that I'm remembering right now. Um, evidence.zip2. Where is the... Bio. Ask Destiny if this is hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Wait, is this what I'm looking for? ...whatsoever. Leffen happens to do this in his Twitch bio, where he states that he is honest to a fault. This is a preemptive defense that creates a false sense of trust between Leffen and his viewers, which he can then exploit. Another troubling... That's not what I was looking for, but that's unhinged, too. Oh my god. The statement in Leffen's bio is that he won't hesitate to ban trolls or idiots, which is nothing more than a delusion. 
In Leffen's mind, a troll or idiot is anyone who disagrees with him, which isn't normally what makes someone a troll or an idiot. The worst part is that Leffen even goes as far as to make the people he views as pests fill out unbanned forms if they want to return to. By the way, if you're blocked by me on Twitter, you can uh, go to DiorioBooking at gmail.com and you should send an unbanned request, and I'm going to read them on Twitch. A sanctuary. By forcing people to display obedience, Leffen is able to, to I've been collecting them. ...to corrode the minds of the masses even further. These types of crowd psychology tactics have a dangerous effect over time. Where is the one where he says, like... Oh, here, this is it. This is amazing. This is like an Anna-level critique. Are you ready? Heavily edited photos I just realized of... you don't know who Anna is, but chat does, because uh, I, I, I assume do. a lot the, of Prime viewers follow Destiny. With, that's the girl with the Destiny show, right? That is the girl that debated Destiny on their relationship status, yes. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Yes. I know so about that one. <laughs> hold that belief. <laughs> Lastly, I'll show you an example of psychopathy. The fact that's just a fucking loaded... Oh my god, I'm sorry, <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm already losing it. Lastly, I'll show you an example of psychopathy. The fact that Leffen used to state that he is really mean in his social media bio is an indicator of psychopathy in itself, but I want to give you a real-world example. <laughs> so his bio used to say, Equipped with the ultimate gamer genes. Half Korean, half Swedish. I set out on my quest to not suck at games. I'm really mean. Really mean. Okay? That's the first indicator of psychopathy. Social media bio is an indicator of psychopathy in itself, but I want to give you a real-world yeah. example. When I beat he Leffen at Genesis 7, that. I was wearing... Oh, oh my god, this is where... Okay, I didn't realize this was... Oh, and, this is, oh, and we've circled yeah. back to the Adidas page. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna just play this, because we now have 180 new people in here just to watch this unhinged. Oh. It's three seconds here. I want to give Sorry, you a real-world example. When I beat Leffen at Genesis 7, I was wearing a red pair of Adidas pants with white stripes on them. These pants would become synonymous with my run at that tournament. A few months after Genesis 7, someone sent me a picture they took of Leffen streaming. Leffen was wearing a red Adidas shirt with white stripes on its sleeves while editing a digital controller's button layout. Again, this wasn't a coincidence. It was a psychopath's way of showing that he wants revenge. Needless to say, the behaviors you're going to find in this video are completely bizarre, but you might be wondering why I'm making this video now. I'm making this video now because the status quo of Melee is becoming increasingly dystopian, and I've been growing increasingly <laughs> discontent with it. It seems that instead of opposing the dark triad <laughs> oh my god this is literally if anna made a video about fucking super smash brothers and i've been growing increasingly discontent with it it seems that instead of opposing the dark triad we've actually embraced it as part of our culture when leffen randomly attacks people from other gaming communities for example we watch and laugh then our content creators turn it into the latest news this leads to other communities telling us to take leffen back to the shithole he came from even worse is the fact that we built a bot off of leffen's ai and used it to broadcast his mindset to thousands of people once you realize why the people behind Deep Leffenbot found Leffen's personality so fascinating, it's actually a lot more dystopian than it looks. I don't even know what the fuck that means! I'm sorry, so they... They, they ran, what? What? They ran Leffen's tweets through an AI and... Bro Dude! Did, like, the Tay tweets thing where she started tweeting out, like, Nazi shit by the end of the day? <laughs> what the fuck does that I even mean? A smash YouTuber? Because he wanted to. <laughs> I just, what? Cast his mindset to thousands of people. Once you realize why the people behind Deep Leffenbot. Deep Leffenbot. Deep Leffen. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All right, back here. The first thing to know is that the main offense that got Leffen banned from Sweden in 2013 was attempting career murder on several players. <laughs> If he didn't say players, I don't... I just... One player, for example, wrote, Leffen has worked to exclude me from the Smash community to the highest degree possible. Dude, his proof of that statement of career murder is an anonymous forum post from 2013. He's fucking quoting anonymous. Well, and isn't he... Oh, no, wait, no, never mind. I, I thought this for a half second. I half think it's him. I do. Stop laughing. Deep Leffenbot sent a machine back in time to kill this guy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. This is so I so Bozo. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck did 
did I tweet R.I.P. Bozo at recently? Oh, Brian Laundry. That's who I tweeted R.I.P. Yeah, Bozo Brian at. Laundry. Yeah, R.I.P. Bozo oh. right under that one. Oh, fuck, dude. I think I, think I replied to Keem's thing about uh, that with the get nay frog. <laughs> The rest of the testimony then proceeds That's to explain so the insane lengths Leffen would go to in order to remove this specific person from the community. In recent years, Leffen has gone after much higher priority targets. Got me I've again. already covered Leffen's vendettas against me and Hungrybox, so next I'll go over M2K and Zero. Leffen targeted both of these people during last summer's Me Too movement. Leffen targeted M2K- Oh my god, okay, so they said that what? Leffen tried to- base oh, They blamed him for all the- any false allegation that happened in the Me Too movement, I'm pretty sure. Uh, other charges, but the initial conspiracy against him was illegitimate. Finally, Leffen engages in plenty of social engineering methods in order to ramp up the rate at which the masses conform to him. The best I like how there's a little text at the bottom, you can't see it. It says, credit to Leffen. Right? I, I, fuck, I'm oh, covering. Oh my god, yeah. He credited Leffen for a video of Leffen. He engages in plenty of social engineering methods in order to ramp up the rate at which the masses conform to him. The best example of this was when Leffen manipulated the entire community by taking the helm of last summer's Me Too movement. Leffen's YouTube video from July 2nd, 2020, which has 800,000 views and 97% upvotes, was entirely a farce. Within this video, Leffen fraudulently claimed that he could resonate with sexual assault victims through the use of a grossly embellished testimony. There is an evidence.zip testimony that directly contradicts every- Wait, wait. Everything Leffen said in his YouTube video by proving that he was, in fact, the abuser within a story in which he claimed he was- Thank you, Peace Groove, for giving out a community sub. I appreciate it. ...was the victim. Furthermore, I reached out to the person who wrote this testimony earlier this year in order to ask him what he thought about Leffen's Me Too involvement. He told me that Leffen was blatantly a sociopath taking a- <laughs> I reached out to this one person who made a forum post in 2013 and they called him a sociopath. ...advantage of people during a vulnerable time period, and that he wished people would see through Leffen's compulsory oh, act of- What was the Me Too tweet that he made that was so fucking bad? Because apparently he's like trying to milk the Me Too movement. Um... Here. People fail to realize how profitable a Me Too movement is- That's never a good way to start a conversation about the Me Too movement. Nope, ...from a business that's... perspective. Most of us would never imagine that someone could be cold enough to view things this way, and that's sadly what allows the dark triad to gain the upper hand. <laughs> the truth is, you should always be skeptical about the people who rush to the podium in these types of situations, especially when you consider how well suited the dark triad traits are for it. By dude, if I post this clip to Twitter, Technicals is gonna kill me, dude. Oh, oh no, I'm Twitter, uh, Dick D. Roy too. In the helm of a Me Too movement, narcissism is rewarded in the form of worldwide acclaim. Psychopathy allows one to remain unemotional throughout the whole process, and Machiavellianism allows one to take advantage of the scattered masses who need a leader. It's the perfect opportunity, but most people would never see it that way. So far, I've explained how dark triads strategically claim victim status and hero status in order to manipulate people. This is... I feel like this is going to get really fucking bad. I actually don't think I've seen this part. There's only one better status to claim than either of these, and it's called virtuous victimhood. Oh no. This refers to when victim status and hero status are combined. Virtuous victimhood is the strongest signal one can emit because it combines the sympathy of victim status with the admiration of hero status, making it ideal for leeching resources. Virtuous victimhood can't be signaled- I'm so proud of the victims that have been speaking out lately, especially seeing how much abuse they get online because they're threatening to endanger some of the neckbeard's favorite e-celeb slash entertainment. I want to talk more about it on stream, but I felt like I needed to get this out. That's the fucking tweet that he's talking about? That's virtuous victimhood? Is what, that what the fuck, dude? That's the evidence of virtuous victimhood? Oh my god! ...in every situation, but it can certainly be signaled during a Me Too movement. A dark triad is able to emerge as someone who can resonate- It's important to remind yourself and other people uh, It's important to remind yourself and others that people speaking up is positive. This stuff is always happening even if you didn't know. Proud of everyone who's spoken up. And I hope people see how a huge, uh, how huge of a problem this is within our community. ...with victims, while also coming across as a leader who victims should stand behind, this is why- What a fucking day. Thanks for listening to me, but more importantly, keep listening to the people that are brave enough to come forward. Going to take a break from social media for a while. Take care. It was never a matter of if Leffen would show up, but rather a matter of when. 
Surely enough. Everyone needs to take this experience and learn from it. Do not idolize top players. Do not harass people who are telling their stories. They're not just accusers. They're people, individual persons who've had to live through both trauma itself and harassment. Enough, Leffen would begin tweeting frequently on June 28th. The tweets he made- I wanna be clear, I understand that you're all angry at people who betrayed everyone's trust, but it not- Don't even- wait, don't harass them or send death threats to them? Is- what the f- what is wrong with any of these tweets? Over the course of the next few weeks, gave victims hope- Not gonna comment on any particular cases, but the people who think no one should speak up and that's a private matter as long as it's not rape or abusing minors are missing the point. This is a problem of our culture, and banning the worst hope and empowerment, is enough. And caused them to become the community's beacon. Leffen's actions were showered with praise by community leaders, and not a soul stopped to question his intentions. His ability to take the helm of Me Too so easily despite his dark past made me realize how wide the gap between perception and reality is within this community, and that the situation was worse than I thought. If you listen closely to what Leffen says in this clip that Rishi tweeted, you'll start to realize that something went wrong here. Yeah, I also agree that saying you stan, while I appreciate it if it's about me, I still think it's bad. You should hold me accountable. If I'm not entertaining, if I'm not doing shit like that, then uh, don't fucking follow me. Don't watch me. I'm not your friend. I'm an entertainer. I'm a pro player. Dude, I'm so confused. Every clip of this guy sounds good. Yeah, I, this is the most confused. Like, this is a negative video about him, right? Like, Vosh just said, um, if Leffen claims sympathy because he also experienced sexual assault, do you think this guy would call him a liar? Well, I mean, dark triads tend to lie. <laughs> That's true. I don't. And there's a lot of money to be made there's off. There's a of lot of money to be made. Uh, while we have everyone here, Team C's, fucking support Team C's and get that trash out of the Team ocean. Team. Oh fuck! I I'm gonna get in so much trouble for not making the video on time. You shouldn't assume that I am a top... Just because I'm a top player, that I'm a top person. That I'm a great person, because you don't know me. It is very easy as a... This just seems like the most fucking... I I'm sure this guy is an asshole in some regard. Because uh, I've heard tons of bad shit about yeah, Leffen yeah. for years, and it can't all be wrong. I I'm not going to call him an asshole, because obviously I don't know firsthand. But, like, I've heard this guy could be a bit of a shitter. But, like... If you're making him look good in your own video, what the fuck are you doing? Streamer to do your bad This shit. might be the most charitably uncharitable video I've ever seen. Yeah. Everything he says, uncharitable. Every clip he shows of Leffen, charitable. During the hours you don't stream. So weird. By July 2nd, the number of allegations had begun to ramp up, and so Leffen made a YouTube corner. video in which he discussed the situation. He also made a second video on July 15th. These videos were seen- I, I love Sky Williams, dude. Sky Williams is like the f one of the nicest fucking people. I hung out with him last week at one of his fucking houses, dude. Really good guy. Um, mm -hmm. Sky got some. Fu he got wrapped up in some dumb shit. Uh, his name was on a house where some fucked up shit, like shit happened and stuff like that. And his name got dragged right. to places that I don't think it belonged. Um, and then people started calling him the Jeffrey Epstein of Super Smash Brothers, right? All during this time period while Leffen's making all these tweets. I don't hold Leffen responsible for that. And because people were calling him the Jeffrey Epstein, they thought that like Sky did stuff to people, which was never even accused or whatever. So it was like really fucked. And like, yeah, dude, a person that I'm like cool with got fucked over in this time frame. I don't think that's fucking Leffen's fault, dude. Oh, I also don't think Sky's in the Dark Triad. By the way, shout out Sky Williams. He was always a cool guy to me. I haven't talked to him in a minute, obviously. Dude, but I, I have so, nothing negative to say about Sky Williams. So did you ever watch when he came into the JonTron debate afterwards? No. Dude, Sky's such a good friend. He didn't watch what John said. And then he called in immediately to defend him. So then Destiny played him a clip of what he said, and you heard Sky audibly go, Oh! Oh, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad, dude. It was so bad. Received over a million hits combined. Someone, someone in chat, sorry, I couldn't make the Team C's video. Leffen is Machiavellian. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I think this guy's secretly a massive Leffen fan, and this entire video series is reverse psychology. I don't know. Dude, do you know that, like, I'm pretty sure Leffen calls his audience the zippers because of this series, like, evidence not zip. He's like, how my zippers doing today? Oh, that sounds... that just sounds... 
Why does it sound? It bad? sounds close to a racial slur. That's why it sounds bad. Thank I'm you. I'm not gonna I say the like, other word, that... but it's close to a racial no, slur. D- no, definitely not. But I was like, why does this make? Why does the phrase you just said make me so uncomfortable? Flamenco is mumbling yep, about that's you right why. now. I don't know why Flam. First of all, I don't even know why Flam's awake, and second of all, I doubt Flam's like really mad at me. If anything, he was mad about that one comment I made about like Doomer Politics's video, but I was more thinking about this. And I think I apologized for that comment it, like three seconds after I said it. So like, I don't know, whatever. I'll play a couple of quotes from them that I've selected. I don't know. The people these people hurt don't deserve to just be a summary and just to be like, these people overall have been abused, right? Dude, um, Vosh, fin- like, Vosh just addressed Doomer Politics. He called them Poomer politics. Jesus, it's that's the uh, that's the uh, response. Okay, buddy. Okay, we have to call somebody out. All right, we have to call somebody out right fucking now. Okay. Oh God. Xander Hall, who has known me for fucking over a year, who I spent five hours on his podcast two days ago. Who has come on my podcast twice, who has made a video on me, just followed me right now on Twitch at four in the morning on a Sunday. I have to call that out. If that's the real fucking Xander Hall, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> is this drama spicy? Yeah, it is. How you doing, buddy? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Yo, I, I have to, dude. Uh, that's funny. I'm built different. <laughs> I think I did this to him like two weeks ago, actually. I was like, oh shit, I'm not following Xander Hall. And then I had to click the button. I was hoping he wouldn't see it. So to be fair, I'm being a total hypocrite. So I'm not going to try to do that here. All right, back to the public apology. We have to get to the public apology. That's if, if we do one thing. Deception. Another example of Leffen's social engineering can be seen in his- Hey, Xander Hall, I just want to call you out one more time, buddy. You said you were going to infiltrate the commentary community. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I was in a political panel with fucking Destiny and Vosh debating each other today. I infiltrated the politics community before you got in my community, motherfucker. Yeah, get shit on Xander Hall. Destroyed. Feud with Salem. People quickly forgot that Leffen instigated this feud, and so Leffen was able to mobilize the Smash Ultimate community underneath him at a very efficient rate. Another example was when Leffen told the Genesis 6 crowd to calm down when they began to riot against Hungrybox. The irony here is that Leffen's actions were what led to people hating- I want to infiltrate the ASMR cooking community. (laughs) I want to infiltrate the food they make at the community. ...being HBox to this degree, which HBox's mother called Leffen out for. HBox's mother! I'm done! He's gotta stop. Dude, why is he quoting HBox? Dude, I can't believe that of all people, HBox's mother came in to defend her son on Twitter. This is like last week when Augie's mom called me, like, a fat fuck on twitter what <laughs> do you know what happened i'm sorry i have like I, dude it's like five, i'm eight hours into a stream and i usually only stream for three hours i'm like adhd dude um bro so when augie lost his phone in an uber at vidcon um he like got to his com- he had he begged a police officer to drive him back to his hotel which he did and then he fucking hit me up and he's like holy shit dude my life is over i lost my phone or whatever you need to help me and obviously the first thing i did being a good friend is i tweeted those dms out publicly and i laughed my fucking right. ass off and his mom saw, saw that shit and he's like fuck you fat fuck or something like that i was like okay all right buddy all right buddy and telling the crowd to calm down shows that he's well versed in the art of shifting socioeconomics in his favor I originally used the term wow, totalitarian to regime to because these oh. are, in fact, proven strategies for rising to power. I've also shown plenty of basis for claiming that Leffen is devoid of morality. As for my claim that Leffen would willingly push zero to suicidality for financial gain. I think we what missed something. Apparently he, so he pushed zero to suicide for financial gain. I don't want to talk about zero because there's actually allegations there and I don't really know if they're true or not. Uh, to, to my knowledge, Zero is like alright. And like a lot of the shit that was said about him is false, but I don't know. I believe this is reasonable considering. Uh, okay, so what the fuck is a Super Smash Brothers melee tournament? Well, it is a Super Smash Brothers melee tournament. During the way Leffen treated Zero during his downfall. A good example of Leffen's malicious nature can be seen in the way he accused Zero of lying and manipulating people after Zero made a post about entering therapy. Leffen criticized Zero for not making an actual. Okay. If Zero is in the right. This is a criticizable statement, right? 
Mm-hmm. We've been at this for like 45 minutes. I think this is the first legitimate critique I've seen. Right? If Zero's in the right. Yeah. I was going to say again, and that's an if. Okay. Apology, which is fully... Someone hip- in chat said, I'm going to use Augie's mom as a character witness for my exposed video on you. Could you imagine someone makes a video on me with this fucking font and it says, like, you fat stupid fuck or something, dash Nicholas Dior, <laughs> like, uh, dash Augie RFC's mother or something? It's just like a quote. But critical, considering the statement Levin made after I uploaded evidence.zip2. Mm-hmm. Within Leffen's statement, he not only claimed victim status, but also outright... Wait, this is what he said following episode two, where, like, he was compared to fucking, um... I don't even know what they're called. Fucking totalitarian regime people. And Hitler. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages and questions regarding hacks, and I stand by what I said earlier. I don't want to talk about it. Hacks' obsession with me is something I've had to deal with for ten years now, so unfortunately, none of this is a uh, surprise to me. I'm sick and tired of dealing with this, and I do not want to entertain him or his outrageous ideas that I'm an evil overlord trying to take over the Smash community, or con- uh, conducting state terrorism by blocking people on Twitter. I do not believe there's been any credible claims made, so I will not be responding further. I know I haven't been perfect, especially in 10 years when I was a younger teenager and I'm trying to learn from my mistakes so many people uh, can at least like can attest to that so this will be the last I speak to this because I do not want to entertain this further and I hope everyone can respect my wish to be left alone stated that none of my claims were credible this was of course identical Wait, he unironically said pretty hy- hy- uh, fucking hypocritical considering your st- yeah he did that's actually this is after we started memeing that uh were you there when Turkey Tom took all these? Okay. Um, to the way Leffen responded well. to evidence.zip eight years ago by refusing to apologize to anyone and instead claiming victim status. Considering the way in which Leffen accused Zero of engaging in this exact pattern of behavior, on top of the fact that Leffen hijacked the Me Too movement in the first place, I find it very hard to believe that he wouldn't be willing to push Zero to suicidality in order to get rid of him. Lastly, I'd like to point out that oh paragraph three openly states that Leffen is guilty of. I'm sorry, that went over my head. To be honest, I'm just so and- fucking like I- I'm so like oh, brain damaged. You should you should run that back. Yeah, because- I missed that one. I'm sorry. I believe that he wouldn't no, be willing okay. to push. Fact that Leffen hijacked the Me Too movement in the first place, I find it very hard to believe that he wouldn't be willing to push Zero to suicidality in order to get rid of him. Lastly, I'd like to point out that paragraph three openly states he just said because he's monetized Me Too again, a, uh, certainly a statement. Um, that he'd be willing to get someone to kill themselves to get rid of them. Xander Hall just said, we're having denims over and the central AC broke uh, before she got there and now it's too hot for me to sleep and denims just passed out. Jesus fuck. That sounds terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Fucking Xander Hall. Play Phasmophobia with me. My friends have failed me. Big B is the only one who came to fucking Phasmophobia tonight. Okay. It's true. Nobody will play it with me. I have to harass my friends every day to stream this fucking game, and they just want to play Among Us. It's that Leffen is guilty of harassing me in Hungrybox, as though that's an acceptable thing to do. This is oh an openly God, rigged ban statement. You play Phasma. <laughs> Are you about to play Phasmophobia with Dude, Xander and Fox? Okay, unironically, I watched Xander Hall play it. And then I got, like, I think it was uh, Denims, Vosh, Demon Mama, and uh, Xander Hall. It was all them. And that's literally what made me get the game and start streaming it with everybody. <laughs> Which makes oh no effort. God. And then we've been streaming it, like, fucking, I guess too much. But, like, the Halloween update just came out. It's fucking Halloween. We should have done a Halloween stream, bro. Concealed that Leffen is under yeah. protection from being held accountable. Why are women okay with sleeping in a puddle of sweat but can't stand the thermostat being below 70? Dude, 69 is the optimal fucking temperature. Do you believe that? Yes. It is the optimal temperature. That's what my, that's what my apartment is currently at. One fucking degree warmer is like a sauna, okay? 69, mm-hmm. based. Next, I will move on to paragraphs 4 and 5. These paragraphs continue to reveal the degree Christ, to which this statement is rigged in Leffen's Every favor. Every time he starts talking again, I'm like, oh yeah, we're still on this. Oh. Somehow this man still has more to say about this shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Holy Holy fucking balls. Four and five use the phrase unfalsifiable in a manner that people shouldn't be deceived by. Normally, unfalsifiable refers to the inability to determine whether something is true or false for certain. 
However, my ban statement pushes the boundaries of this phrase by suggesting that any assertion I make that Leffen is acting maliciously is malicious in itself, since it can't be proven. This is nonsense because not only have I shown a massive amount of proof that Leffen is malicious in general, but furthermore, all the situations in which I accuse Leffen of acting maliciously are accurate beyond any reasonable doubt. To show you just how egregious the lines of logic being used in my ban statement are, I'll debunk the way in which it tries to claim that Leffen didn't Dude, act- Dude, we're gonna have an offline version of this stream where instead of watching hacks, I'm gonna show you Mouthy Buddha's JQ series and why it's the most oh. racist fucking thing ever, okay? It's just like oh, this, oh. but like racist. Okay? It's literally just like this, but then he just comes up. Yeah. Racist. It's the same thing, but racist. racist. And, um. Also, oh my god, chat. Yeah, we are talking Fahrenheit. It's like 20 or 21 ish, I think. Uh, I think 70s, like. Dude, we don't speak other country I here, dude. I mean, I do. I'm. I can translate. <laughs> Fuck other country, bro. <laughs> America. Yeah, I'm starting my politics yeah, arc strong, longer. dude. America. Oh God. Yeah. Maliciously throughout the interaction listed in bullet points. It's 79 in my house. All right, you know what? Honestly, I would freak out, but like. That's vile. My fucking house died like three times this year already, and it got to like literally 80 degrees in here and it was like the worst fucking thing ever because like if i i couldn't like go on my computer to edit videos because my computer's like a sauna and, and it was just not happening like i would have to have like every fan on in the house try recording audio with every fan on in the house it does not fucking work um this interaction had to do that's with the hardest i've ever been roasted online is sitting in my fucking chair when the fucking ac broke oh man <laughs> what's happening i just got linked okay that's the hacks archive Oh, man. This has been a fucking base stream. I've been contacting my engineer during the box legality phase in order to convince him to let Leffen take home a modded GameCube controller. I asserted that this was sabotage, which it was. <laughs> However, my wait, 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 time out, time out. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, we, we unpaused at the wrong fucking time. Wait. To show you just how egregious the lines of logic being used in my ban which statement are, I'll debunk the way in which it tries to claim that Leffen didn't act maliciously throughout the interaction listed in bullet points. This interaction had to do with Leffen contacting my engineer during the box legality phase in order to convince him to let Leffen take home a modded GameCube controller. I asserted that this was sabotage, which it was. However, my ban statement suggests that I defamed Leffen by asserting this, since we can't know his intentions for certain. To show you how preposterous this is, let's go through the sequence of events that was going on at the time. In March 2017, Leffen spread massive amounts of lies about the box on social media with the obvious intention of getting it banned. I quickly responded to Leffen's lies by pointing out his malicious intent, which Leffen responded to by claiming he had no malicious intent. Leffen then immediately contradicted this statement by stating that he made contact with my engineer. Next, Leffen manipulated my engineer into agreeing to let him take home a modded GameCube controller. My engineer nearly handed the controller over to Leffen at the tournament Royal Flush, which I stopped him from doing at the last minute. Could Finally, you imagine, after Leffen got home from imagine Royal, just walking up to somebody saying, hey, dude, can I get this GameCube controller? This looks really sick, right? And then, like, out from the fucking crevices, dude, a fucking hacks comes flying in, sprinting, as the controller is being... Hold on. As the controller is being handed off to fucking uh, Leffen, Hax comes out of nowhere, just grabs it and goes, no, that's my controller. I'm picturing this is how it went down. It probably wasn't as cool as that. But, like, that's what I'm picturing when he says that. Plush, he began spreading rumors on his stream about how I'd stolen his controller. Oh. To be clear, the controller and contention never belonged to Levin. The first and third actions within this sequence are malicious beyond any reasonable doubt because they involve Levin lying. I just dropped by Flamenco's stream and the dude's mad at Nick, Jesus. Why? I don't care. My band statement tries to... Act? No, I think it. I don't think it. I, if process of elimination deems why Flamenco is mad at me, I don't think it's hacks. Make the massive leap in logic that the second mm. action, the only one possibly up for debate, can't be deemed malicious for certain, and therefore I defamed Leffen's character by asserting malicious intent within this action. There's no jury on the. Yeah, I assume that, dude. I look. Anybody who's coming from fucking Flamenco stream, I'm not getting. In, I don't care, like at all whatsoever. Uh, he's probably drunk. I doubt he, if he's been drinking since fucking whatever. I don't whatever, dude. He's got fucking free reign to shit on me tonight. I really don't give a fuck. 
planet that would be fooled by this line of logic. Moving on to paragraph 6, this paragraph once again frames Leffen in the most charitable light by stating that his decision to leak chat logs was evidently pretty bad, but they surely felt regretful about it considering how quickly he deleted the tweet. To be clear, this is in reference to Leffen publicizing the fact that I used to have PTSD from his abuse while I was in the midst of trying to get the box legalized. For one, Leffen only took- Wait, what the fuck did he just say? Quickly, he deleted the tweet. To be clear, this is in reference to Leffen publicizing the fact that I used to have PTSD from his abuse while I was in the midst of trying to get the box legal. What the fuck does he mean by that? What? What the fuck does he mean by that? Wait. I'm just so lost. Wait, we have to go back to evidence.zip too. What is he talking about? Abuse? Maybe we're assholes. Hold on. Are we assholes? PTSD. In which I came to him with a confession. I'd been suffering from PTSD for three years at the time, and I needed help. This PTSD resulted from the chronic harassment and stalking I'd been subject to in 2011 and 2012, and it had been causing me severe insomnia. The reason I used to have PTSD is because I didn't understand psychopathy back when I was a teenager, and so I didn't understand why someone was stalking me so obsessively. Apparently, when I gave Leffen this information, he viewed it as a way to stalk me again in the future while blackmailing me. It's still probably the most evil thing I've ever witnessed. After left and post- Buddy, wait, hold on. Buddy, buddy, wait. We, we just moved on from that? We can't just move on from that. What the fuck are you talking about? The, the guy making the two hour and 45 minute fucking video is tell- What the fuck is happening, dude? What the fuck does that even mean? I thought he meant like sexual abuse. Yeah, but he's, I he, he's clearly, it it's stalking. Constantly been misrepresenting in order to get the box banned. At first, Leffen posted logs of a private conversation I had with him in 2016 in which I came to him with a confession. I'd been suffering from PTSD for- Okay, um, I believe that's here. I can't read this, it's too fucking small. Lies. Let me pull it up on my, um... Let's see if I can read it on my fucking OBS. No, I can't. Alright, I'm gonna just take a screenshot and make it bigger over here because I'm not gonna, like, rip my neck out of my fucking head. Okay. Um, quick access. Here, let me get this bigger. Okay, um, but you're the reason I have insomnia, Leffen. The past two years of... Oh my god. What the fuck? Hold on. You're the reason I have insomnia, Leffen. The past two years of melee have been erased from me because of this. It doesn't make sense to you now. Why it would get worse at tournaments? I understand and I'm really sorry that I'm the catalyst. However, I do think... Um, I, I do think... Not to save myself from any blame. What? As long as I can cure it, I will forgive you. I think these problems likely wouldn't have, would have wait, likely would have appeared later if you took my trash talk that seriously. That's just how wait a minute. So from that statement, I think Leffen trash talking hacks on Twitter gave him insomnia. That is what I think that's the allegation. You shit talked to me on Twitter, and now I can't sleep. Um. Yeah, someone in chat just said, Imagine being this obsessed with Smash. I forgot this was about Smash again. I don't even know how to fucking respond to that, dude. What the fuck? Besizing the fact that I used to have PTSD from his abuse while I was in the midst of trying to get the box legalized. For one, Leffen only took down this tweet because tons of people pressured him to do so. Secondly, Leffen claimed victim status directly after taking the tweet down, which is ridiculous. 
Thirdly, Leffen would once again leak this information three years later on the night of the metagame broadcast in order to make it seem as though I created evidence.zip all by myself, which clearly shows that he was never regretful. This is yet another example of how my ban statement is heavily- Hack said that Leffen would stalk him on an old Smash forum? Wait, this wasn't even IRL stalking? This was just replying to comments on web forums? Holy shit, okay, so dude! Like... Someone just said Leffen is actually Freddy Krueger uh, disguised as an Asian gamer. Oh. Rigged in Leffen's favor. Moving on to paragraphs 7 and 8. These paragraphs touch on the infamous conspiracy in which Leffen and Jisoo went after Zero, which led to Jisoo going after Sky Williams. Jisoo's motive was presumably to gain clout by being able to say that she cancelled big names in the community. This is obvious based on the fact that she put Dude, back- fuck man, I was so mad when this came out. I was so mad when this came out. Because he- he- I, Dude, as somebody who fucking helped Sky personally, right? Mm. The minute I heard this crazy motherfucker start talking about Sky, I like blew a gasket. I'm like, no, 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 please, please, keep that shit away. We, we're good. I got this, buddy. I got this. I don't need fucking hacks helping me out. Please don't help me, hacks. Like, holy shit, dude. That man in her bio directly after making allegations without providing any evidence, as Technicals has pointed out. From there, we can assume that... Best part of the video. Leave it to Technicals. Mm. Don't say anything, hacks. Leave it alone. Oh, what the fuck is this graph? I'm sorry, I didn't see the graph. What the fuck is this, dude? That's why I started laughing. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is the graph of looking oh, at? Making allegations without providing any evidence, as Technicals has pointed out. From there, we can assume that Leffen wanted Zero gone in order to service his usual agenda of targeting threats to his influence. Motive is ultimately irrelevant, however, as the bottom line is that these parties did conspire. This is obvious based on several factors. For one, technicals dug up logs in which Jisoo could be seen conspiring in excitement. Secondly, Leffen is currently mass blocking people who've attempted to confront him about his involvement, as can be seen in these Twitch chat Dude, logs. I've heard a lot of crazy shit about people like... You're blocking because of censorship, and you're pro, uh, you're anti censorship. So by blocking people, you're not living by your own fucking whatever. I've heard shit like that, and I cringe, right, or, or whatever. Like, I've yeah. heard like you're blocking because like I don't know. There's a million reasons why people get mad about blocking, right? I don't know. I just don't want to see your shit on my feed. I've never heard somebody say that blocking should be fucking illegal because it's taking over the news in the Smash community. That's yeah, like who? insane. Gives a shit, dude. Hax is gonna read us some stats. Oh god, he's gonna call. He's gonna call Jontron, and he's gonna have some stats for us. Oh Christ! What are you familiar with Jontron's stats? He's gonna read an infographic from a website and oh, argue it wholeheartedly, despite not knowing if it's true. Yeah, dude. Icon. <laughs> dude, if Leffen only makes up sixteen percent of the wins in the community, how come he is fifty percent of the um the harassment? <laughs> <laughs> it's wait if Leffen is 16 15 I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the actual number is if Leffen is 15 percent of the followers in the smash community how can he makes up 50 percent of the harassment that's what yeah thanks John Tron <laughs> thanks I appreciate you John Tron <laughs> thirdly the idea that Leffen would hijack the me too movement with a false victim testimony and then go after high priority targets with anything other than malicious intent is preposterous and finally, the conspiracy between Leffen and Jisoo can be seen in broad daylight within this series of tweets, which shows Leffen laying out the red carpet for Jisoo to make her allegations. On July 7th- Oh my god, dude. Okay, I can't stress this enough. All of the Smash allegations dropped, like, in the in the 72-hour span. So Leffen saying, cool, allegations are happening, isn't the red carpet for Jisoo. She posted them when fucking everybody else posted them. I don't like her, I have a problem with her, but, like- you can't say that's fucking... Dude, oh shit, dude, that's crazy. Back in 2020 at 7.38 p.m. Oh. EST, Leffen encouraged people to keep believing victims who were brave enough to come forward, which Jisoo followed up on... Dog, the tweet predates her drop. So one of the things that we got when we were doing the Sky Williams shit is we had access. Mm. Somebody came out and gave us access to the entire Facebook chat all the way through of all the people who were conspiring to make Twit Longers, right? If mm. Leffen was in that fucking chat, don't you think we'd know about it? Yeah. If I have this whole thing somewhere on my computer, which I think I do, um, if not Sky has it, or if not Technicals has it, like, it's very documented that it's there. If Leffen was conspiring with all the fucking people to release the allegations, we wouldn't know it.
I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I doubt fucking technicals would leave that out, right? I don't know. On 32 minutes later, with her first round of allegations. Moving on to paragraph 9. Paragraph 9 doesn't contain much other than an attempt to condemn me for claiming that Leffen would probably prefer if Zero was dead. This ultimately isn't relevant, so I'll be moving on. What? These paragraphs discuss when Leffen- <laughs> We just skip right over that one. Wow, that was- that was a- he's done that twice now of like, oh, he would've let him fucking kill himself anyway. The left would probably on. prefer if Zero was dead. Wait, why the fuck did he- he skipped over that? I didn't- it, it just went over my- Because he, he already mentioned that he would totally be down to get Zero to unalive himself in Minecraft. Um, because he's just so ready to get him out of the way. That's so funny. These oh paragraphs discuss when Leffen circulated the rumor about M2K. Unfortunately, M2K has personally requested for me not to discuss this subject any further, and so I hope the people reviewing this video can understand that. <laughs> Dude, wait, that's why did he just include like a message? Fucking guy. Oh, okay. Wait, you're asking why this is okay? Okay, dude. The message to the reviewers. <laughs> okay, all right. Are you ready for this, buddy? All right, watch. Get ready. Get ready for this. All right. I think I know this. First of all. B2 King probably saw evidence.zip2 and said, Hacks, if you include me in another one of these motherfucking videos, I'll DMCA the shit out of that, dude. Because I guarantee... Oh my god, bro. Hold on. Get the hack scene. Get hacksinated. Um, Hashtag get hacksinated. This will never not be the craziest... I think they were, like, begging me to stop what? talking about this, too. Because, like, I asked technicals if his video was good, and he told me yes the first time. And then I didn't hear about it for, like, a month. And then I found it, and they were just like, you fucking asshole. And I'm like, what are you, am I not going to talk about this? On the day rumors about M2K sexually assaulting someone arose, Leffen immediately capitalized by circulating the rumors within his Twitch chat. Leffen wrote, take the allegations as plausible and see what he says. And you need to make sure the person accused responds if it's something serious. Obviously, a ton of these things are very hard to prove and disprove, but many of them end up clear as day once the abuser confesses. Leffen added, To be clear, ejaculating on someone's bed is bad. Ejaculating on someone is really fucking bad. What none of the people in Leffen's chat knew, however, was that not only is spreading rumors right up Leffen's alley, but that he'd hijacked the entire Me Too movement with these types of motivations in the first place. Baby. What the fuck was that? Every one of those were extremely charitable. Am I wrong? Was that not the most charitable... Dude, he literally just comes out and goes, wait for both sides. Say they're plausible, yeah, but wait to find out if they're true. It's the easiest take to have. It's per it's like the perfect, I don't want to pick a side on this, but I know y'all want me to say something <sighs> take. I don't know. what. I don't see an inherent issue with it. Dude, like, if, if you, you can't say, say this shit, right? I'm afraid of right. fucking... After Slazo, you, um, fucking yeah. Pro-Jared... Uh, every, all these other people, I'm afraid to, like, jump on and immediately support something. However, what I see right here is the bare minimum, and it, it's kind of what I would say if I was in this situation where I thought something might be true, right? It's like, I'm not 100% on board with this, and I'm not saying, like, it's a matter of fact, because I know I have a big platform, and I have a lot to influence, right? I, if I if I tweet this out and I said like, hey, new two king stuff, all legit or something like that, to thirty four thousand people, that's probably bad. If I put it in a YouTube video and I say it to sixty thousand people, that's probably pretty bad. Especially if I like if I don't know what I'm talking about. But like, this guy's talking in Twitch chat and being extremely charitable. I don't fucking know, dude. This guy's a psycho. This guy's the real dark. The real dark triad was the hacks that we met along the way. The most I'll say <laughs> is that whether or not Leffen acted in good faith doesn't exactly matter here, as he did in fact circulate a rumor which would end up being untrue. Okay. Going back to my band statement, we are now up to paragraph- Dude, is everybody who responds to an allegation in a neutral way spreading the rumor and then, like, therefore, like- I don't know, dude. If I if I see a rumor on Twitter and I say like, "Hey, wait for more information," am I contributing to misinformation by telling my audience not to take it as fast? I don't know, dude. Graph twelve. This paragraph antagonizes so. me by stating that there is sufficient reason for Leffen to feel uncomfortable being in the same space as someone who's made the claims Hacks has. I have no idea why the solution to this problem wouldn't be to ban Leffen, the person guilty of the claims I've listed, rather than me, the person making the claims. Oh, he's delusional. I mean, we knew that, but. Yeah, that's what that... Yep. Dude, you said him wearing a red striped Adidas shirt was proof he wanted revenge. 
I also want to add that nobody would have ever had reason to think that I was a threat to Leffen's safety if not for Leffen himself planning the idea in people's heads, which is yet another one of his manipulative strategies. The remainder of my band statement consists of either blank text or... Yeah, like, I don't need to be like a dick here, because I don't want to use the charge language he's using, but I think this is fair. Maxipad in chat says, maybe because you're a delusional schizo. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of mean, but... Yeah? <laughs> That brings me back to the verdicts I listed early on in the video. I maintain that I am not guilty because my only mishap was presenting evidence not zip two. Why does he keep calling them charges? In a socially inept manner, which I'd like to apologize for once again. Jisoo is guilty of participating in a conspiracy to cancel Zero and, most notably, an innocent Sky Williams who- I can't stress enough how personally I take it that he put Sky in this video. Whose life would perpetually have been ruined if not for technicals exonerating him. Therefore. I'm so glad he said technicals and left me out, because I'm in that video. The video he's referencing, I'm in that video. So I'm glad it's not a thing. Or Jisoo deserves <laughs> to be banned. And finally, Leffen is guilty of an astronomically long list of charges that make him the single biggest threat to society in the Smash community. <laughs> Leffen's key charges include hijacking 2020's Me Too movement, which led to him being a necessary accomplice in the aforementioned conspiracies against Zero and Sky, spreading a rumor about M2K which would have ended M2K's career, presumably with malicious intent. Stop. With malicious intent? He basically said wait for both sides. What the fuck are you talking about? Talking and harassing hacks for the past 10 years with the intention of preventing hacks from providing the scene with any type of product or service. Most notably, an attempt to end Hax's career was made in 2017 when Leffen aggressively tried to ban the box. Furthermore, Leffen openly engages in every strategy in the book in order to evade accountability. Dude, he deletes his tweets. Ability. For example, <laughs> Leffen publicly deletes evidence, lawyer bluffs, censors people who confront him yeah, with allegations, evidence. claims victim status, and endlessly flees from gaming community to gaming community once the pressure is on. This guy worked out the JQ, except it's with Leffen, it's the LQ. <laughs> <laughs> For example, there's a- Okay, there's just no quote on the screen. I'll move my shit around. So C in 2013 fucking said nothing, dude. He said absolutely fucking nothing. What the fuck is this screenshot? I, I guess he he didn't time it right. A quote from a player named C that reads: "There the it people is. People actually okay. took the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, C just said he had nothing to fucking say, dude. C literally just didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> to wrap their heads around what actions Levin has exhibited toward me and many more. Who the, the fuck is C? Thought of doing anything less. Someone's like <laughs> parentheses dash Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and not welcoming him to any future tournaments or gatherings is ludicrous. The mere thought of it is preposterous, and the act of allowing the things he'll subject others to is nothing less than grotesque and an act of cruelty toward his targets. You must understand that he has yet proven to show any sign of- Dude, this is a content nuke- like, alright, so Anna can make this content nuke on Destiny. I think so. Remorse whatsoever concerning his actions, how they affect it's people- Only it'll be like the dark triad of polyamorous relationships, that's what it would be. <laughs> and it would be- the abuse wouldn't be about, um... The abuse wouldn't be about, like, mean comments, it would be about, like, the streams that Destiny's done about her, and the fact that he's cold and callous and didn't answer 72 consecutive text messages. That's what'll happen. They have to go through and put up with. Nor how it affects not only them, but poisons the entire atmosphere and well-being of the community Dude, as I a like whole. how at least a hundred of Prime's viewers stayed because this is so unhinged. Thank you for hanging out. Usually whenever I get raided, everyone just dips, because nobody cares about commentary. And until that fact changes, it would be preposterous to invite, accept, or allow this guy anywhere near the people he constantly subjects to act. This makes Anna seem coherent. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Malicious intent. Not to forget or undermine the urgency in sparing any new potential prospects. The indecency in prolonging this is truly nothing less- Do you know that I got banned from Zerka's Royale? Because, like, one of my, um, fucking- like, one of my fans went on there and, and like, tried to get on the show or something, and Zerka thought it was really me, and then said I was, like, a slimy piece of shit while I was asleep or something, and I got banned the week before the Anna stream. If I had just gone on the following week and gotten banned that week or whatever, I literally would have been there for that. That would have been so fucking funny. It's but an act of cruelty. Oh this quote implies that Leffen will inevitably select more victims if given the opportunity to, and so people need to be fully aware of that. Therefore, I'm in favor of not only banning, but potentially even deplatforming left <laughs> as the gaming realm desperately needs to restart dude, without this guy, Dude, gaming is gonna end if we can't get Leffen out of the chat, dude. <laughs> like, dude, oh god. There's this saying, um, that I like, 
That is all it takes for evil. Imagine pe- if he quotes a Hitler quote right here. Like he just comes full circle and Leffen quotes a Hitler quote. People to succeed is for good people to do nothing. And I really do think that's true. In my opinion, the world is not filled of majority evil people. I think that's something that people tell themselves um, in order to kind of put blame away from themselves. That they co- I was hoping he'd argue for killing him. <laughs> couldn't have done anything. Everyone's bad. And if I'm bad, you know, I'm just part of the majority. I really do think that the majority of people are either decent- I think it's clear after all this evidence the death penalty would be too lenient. <laughs> the fucking sad part is- Could you picture Hack saying that?